you is to be disciplined to something you're not aligned with, something you don't believe in, something that's not authentically you. I have several clients who reach out to me for work in their business and life and they'll share that they really struggle in the area of discipline. Now, I get that because there was a time in my life where I felt the exact same way. I had, I'm a visionary, so I had tons of ideas and I had no problem starting things, but finishing wasn't always my strong point. And I began to develop the habit of discipline. But I learned a few things about being disciplined. And there are two important things that must be aligned in order for discipline to take place. The first thing is your values. I, and I, I dropped my thought for a moment because I thought about what sparked this particular share in this moment. And it was the fact that I saw it run down my timeline from someone sharing, like I really struggle in the area of discipline. And as I was, you know, talking to you about the importance of two things, number one, your values. You know, I've watched, you know, the individual over time on social media and I just felt led to, to share these two tips for you. So number one, you must, your discipline has to be aligned with your values. And many people have to recheck what their values are. It's so easy to say that this is a value in your life, but if you're not giving it time, energy, effort, resources, if you're doing completely opposite of what someone would do who values this particular thing, whether it's your finances or your relationships or your children or buying a home or reaching a new income goal in your business, if you're doing things that are opposite to that, I believe there that's a beautiful space to check and reassess what your values are. I also believe that our values change as we evolve. And so checking to see, like I say I value earning new income in this stage, but maybe your health and your well-being is something that you actually value more. And so you're trying to put efforts into this thing over here and it's just not in alignment. So one of the most important things that has to be aligned is your values. And if you find by chance when you're checking to see like, am I, do I value what I say I value? When you're checking that, you can be okay with making this thing that you thought you were showing value to a priority. And when those things aren't etched in stone, it's not like from a soul level, it is going to be difficult to have discipline in a particular area. Discipline may look like getting help. Like if I was disciplined and I really wanted these results, I would seek help in whatever life element uh, you want to work on. I discussed six of them in my academy and in our time here on my shares, your social and cultural life, your home and relationships, your spiritual um, and emotional well-being, health and wellness, uh, finance and career. Did I mention home and relationships? I may have mentioned one more than one time, but I think that's an easy way to kind of make assessments in our life but one of the most important things that has to transpire in order for you to be disciplined at is it has to be aligned with your values so for instance if there is a business opportunity for me that doesn't align with my values regardless of the amount of money it's a no for me because i i understand that energetically from a soul level that's going to move me out of alignment, like my discipline for it, my heart space, how I feel, how authentically I can um, get behind a, a business opportunity that's not aligned. It, it's a no for me, right? So what good does it you know, profit a man to gain the world and, and lose his soul? And so your values are connected to your soul level. And when you get clear 
on what it is you value or what you desire to value in this new season when you become intentional in 2024 which is our theme for this year when you're intentional about making this thing that you say you value actually something you value things will change your discipline in that particular area you know it'll change right because it's valuable to you but if you're doing something because it's a new trend on social media or you saw someone else doing it and it's not connected from a heart space it's not really something that you value yeah, it's going to be hard to have a level of discipline that's needed to bring in those results. And the second thing is maybe something you have not thought about, but discipline actually stems from self-love. The more you love yourself, the more aligned you are with doing things that show that you love yourself, the more that you're operating in that space of self-love, you develop a level of discipline that's going to bring in the results if you know it's increasing your income in your business or um, working less and earning more because you're valuing your time and you feel you deserve it because self-love is coming from a worthiness space like i'm worthy of this new thing this new healthy relationship i'm worthy of you know feeling energetic throughout my day i'm i'm worthy of rest i'm worthy of you know, putting myself first sometimes so that what I pour out is from a completely healthy space. I'm worthy of organizing my life and my business so that it supports everything that I want to do. And all of that is from a space of self-love. And when you tap into that space of self-love, it creates this discipline that you can't run from, right? There's a, a, a desire. I talked about the difference in wanting and desire on one of my previous videos. Maybe I'll put that link in the comments for those of you who watch on YouTube, but I talked about <clears throat> the difference in wanting something and desiring something. When you say you want something, um, most of the time it's attached to like lack and scarcity or uh, this need, but desire is from a soul level. It's completely different. And so when you move to the space of knowing that you desire a thing, from a space of self-love. I'm doing this because I really value myself. I love myself or I love my family or whatever it is that you have affection towards. If it's coming from a space of self-love, it will create a level of discipline that becomes automatic. When you connect to the desired result with vision and certainty, you move differently because your values begin to create this vision for your life. Like when you're clear on that, you don't take opportunities that don't align with it, or you are aware that this particular opportunity is in alignment with my vision and what I want for my life. You know, self-love makes you sit down and create, what do I really desire in my life to look like? Who would I be spending time with? What would an ideal day or week look like? How am I gonna feel? When you connect the desired result that you want with vision and certainty, you move differently. It creates a level of discipline. You create an energy that seemingly calls in what you want. Until what you're desiring becomes a lifestyle. You do it until it becomes a lifestyle. Like I often talk about a routine that makes you brilliant. That's another video for, for those of you who watch on YouTube that I created about this routine that you have that, you know, makes you brilliant. This is lifestyle. And if you are creating your brand, it, it has to become a lifestyle. And I don't mean that 24 hours a day you are posting on social media or you're doing work all day long but you're doing things that allows you the person who has the vision and the the design and creativity for your brand to exemplify your brand in a way that it resonates and it attracts your perfect people it attracts the right people so your lifestyle believe it or not is your brand a lot of how you feel and how you move and what you're doing and your level of discipline becomes your brand i invite you for those of you you know maybe you're struggling with discipline and you're thinking that you're just procrastinating when in actuality you need a new level of clarity about your brand 
who you are as a brand, what you want your brand to do, what stage you're at in, in the brand building process. Are you in the growth stage? Are you in a stage of decline or a stage of renewal? I invite you to the 3D Brand Masterclass. We start in a few days. I'll place a link in the comments. If this resonates for you and you've been struggling with discipline, this may not be that you're procrastinating. It may simply be that it's just not in alignment. You're trying to do things.